Jesus' name mm -hmm. shows that they come from a totally different spiritual root and mm -hmm. not one that is, is, is for Christ in any way. Exactly, yeah. Um, another situation, it was about a year ago, and um, I was asked to go and share in a church of Scotland near Edinburgh. So I went along there and, and there was quite a lot of Christians came, but there was also 20 spiritualists came and two sorcerers and they listened to my testimony um, and at the end quite a few of them spoke to me privately and, and a few wanted prayer and, and um, had a salvation experience as well. Um, and then three weeks after but, I mean, that was a real blessing because I would have been yeah. delighted to see one, but 20 came. I just <laughs> thought of that scripture, he is able to do more than all we can ask or imagine. Amen. You know, and, and the people were, were spiritually hungry and, and wanted to know what it was all about. But three weeks after, the reverend of that church of Scotland told me that the local spiritualist church had actually closed down. <laughs> um, so, and I've not heard from any of those people, but I can only assume that, that, that perhaps Something they listened happened. and... It, Quite a few of them did come to me at the end and say, I know exactly what you're talking about, I'm going through it myself, or I know people are going mm -hmm. through it, and yet um, I want to be a Christian and, and, and I believe what you're saying. Yeah, mm -hmm. and, and there's been different radio stations and other TV stations um, where I've had feedback from people that, um, again, they've said, I, I know what you're talking about, I've been through it, and they've come to Christ as well. And, and um, it's, it's lovely just to, to see people being, being set free. Mm. And, and, and coming into and, uh, relationship. I had an email from Anne that uh, is saying exactly the same thing. Uh, Hi Doug and guests, uh, I used to have books on many supernatural topics, mainly astrology, which I started in my teens. Spent a lot of time studying these things, but as time went on by, I found uh, I was becoming more depressed and fighting fear about everything and anything. To cut a long story short, I did an Alpha course in 1999 gave my life to Jesus, I now have joy and confidence in him. Uh, and it's interesting, isn't it, that, that she, and I've heard others talk about this, that um, even though you're involved in things, you, you still have fear and you still have depression um, with, uh, w w with that. Um. You also, uh, I, I think it can, it can be a bit like a, an addiction. Um, it satisfies you on one level, but you're still kind of empty and you're, you feel you need a little bit more to maybe give you a sense of satisfaction. So you're always kind of, as Adrian says, wanting to develop more and mm. you do feel there's something missing. Mm. Yeah, and obviously that is Christ. We're, we're coming towards the end. Um, Adrian, what would you like, what message would you like to leave with our viewers, especially those that may be um, thinking of, of getting involved in these, or maybe are involved in, in, in some of these issues that we've been talking about, what message would you like to give to them? Well, apart from don't do it. Yeah. <laughs> that sums it up pretty well, but a little um, bit more maybe. Uh, it's, it's an area of life that needs to be filled with Christ. And it's not one that a lot of spiritualists are going to accept initially until they realise that on their spiritual path that's what they need. What they're seeking it but they're seeking it the wrong way. Mm -hmm. And that, so they think what they're doing is right, and they feel what they're doing is right, but unfortunately, it's not what Christ wants for us. Mm -hmm. It's not what he wants. I mean, as I said in Deuteronomy, it says, you know, these practices are detestable to the Lord. Mm. That's a pretty strong term. Detestable. It is. And, and uh, you're obviously that way not going to get God's blessing because something is detestable to God and you persist in doing it, that automatically cuts you off in the blessing of God, doesn't it? Absolutely, yeah. yeah. So, it's just not the place to be. Mm -hmm. it's, mm -hmm. it's not the place to be. And Laura, what, what would you like to say? I would say, I know that they you know a lot of spiritualists will say, well, maybe Laura and Adrian had a bad experience, they were just unlucky. Most spiritualists never go through any, anything like that. And I would say, yeah, I know that, I, I know that myself. But it's because you're not trying to come out of it. You're not testing the spirits in Jesus' name and um, the Bible says 1 John 4, Beloved, don't believe every spirit, but test the spirits where they are, whether they are of God. And I've heard and read books, um, people like Victor Ernest, Ben Alexander, Sharon Beekman, 
it's not just us that's saying this. Mediums down since the 50s that have written books who are now Christians, you know, they were mediums but they were Christians, that they did that, they tested the spirits in a seance. They, they would say to the other medium in trance and, and, and say truths about the Bible and mention that, that Jesus' blood was shed on the cross for the remission of our sins. Mm. And that seemed to be a key, obviously, a key statement. And that mediums would collapse and the spirits would scream and everything, hearing about blood, Jesus' blood on the mm -hmm. cross. Mm -hmm. So it does make you think, you know, can't you consider that this could be true, what we're yes. saying about Christ, and, yeah. and also that these so-called spirit guides are actually demons? Mm. Yeah. So what you're really asking people to do is to investigate, not just to accept where they are, but to really have a look, investigate what, what's going on. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, yeah. Adrian, would you ever go back? No. <laughs> not even. <laughs> no, 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 no. I've, in the short time that I've been a Christian, there's been too many blessings that have happened yeah. since yeah. Um, for me to even consider going back. Yeah. You know, I'm, I've now effectively got a family within the church um, and the reward, the personal rewards for me just feel so much better yeah. than what I ever have done in the last 20 odd years. Great. Bless you. We're running out of time. Thank you so much, Laura. Thank you so much, Adrian. Thank, thank you. you. Okay. Thank you for watching. Look forward to seeing you again next week. Uh, we'll be here 3.30, Revelation TV. Don't miss it. Bless you for now. And if you need further help, make sure you contact us. Bye for now.